Hi guys, it's Pure Gamer, and today we're going to be playing more GTA. Now this is the second episode of our making money for the new update. I'm going to make a little um, video later on today about exactly what's coming out in the update, and um, so you guys can actually see and you can guess yourselves how much is actually going to be cost. But I'm going off normal off what Mr. Boss for the win says. Some of you, well, most of you, pretty much all of you. Well, no, Mr. Boss for the win. He's a rare, very, very, very good GTA live streamer and up YouTube uploader. He uploads all the time, and I get how much money. Normally, I find from the videos how much money he's reckoned it the updates will be, but that won't be for a long time. So when he does do that video, I will let you guys know. But until then, we're gonna do these races. Because these seem to make a lot of cash. I've seen people um, tweet me on um, Twitter about them making about 70 grand in first place on some races. And that was an 8 minute race with this um, thing. So it seems to be some of them are always fun. But most of them are. And it just seems that they're making a lot of cash off them. So let's try our best to make as much cash as we can. Right, so... With these updates, I'll do a video on them about what exactly is coming out, but there seems to be cars and probably new clothing because there's it's like a military slash firearms dealing one with military equipment, so I'm assuming we'll be able to do lots of military style clothing and things like that. Because I know the community has actually wanted a military style DLC for a while and it has technically been confirmed now, so that'll be good to have that. Right, by the way, if I go quiet, guys, or stop talking for a minute, it's just purely because I'm concentrating. Because I want to show, show you guys the best way to actually make cash. And sometimes that means I have to be quiet for a minute to make sure I win, but sometimes we'll lose. But you're still making good cash. Like that now, I've just messed that up. That's purely because I've jinxed myself. Jinxed and talked about how bad I could do. And now I'm fourth. Now I'm fifth. But it's okay, we can still make some good cash. Hopefully. We just have to try. The best thing was before when I was being ahead, no one was ramming me. And um, if I if you do see me ram someone by mistake, it is definitely a mistake because that is one thing I have always hated. Ramming people because like yesterday we did a video and it was all the races were contact off. That was brilliant. Because they're the best type of races when you have no contact. Because there's no ramming or cheating, just purely you. And you're against yourself and the ghosts, pretty much. They are like ghosts, that was pretty cool then. Full acceleration. Right, okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we spun out. See, like that, you have people ramming you and things like that. Also, you start, I think, I feel like you start to panic a lot more when you have contact on. Because if they ram you, if they get beside you and ram you, you start thinking, right, I'm going to be at the very back in a minute if they ram me and I go completely wrong. But we're fourth place, maybe, just maybe, we'll have a chance. Right, okay. Quite like this race. It's not too complicated, but it's not too easy, if you get what I mean. There's quite a lot going on, but not too much. Because some races you have, like, corners everywhere, and then the next minute you're dodging these walls. And sometimes they're fun, but sometimes they're just too much. Especially when we're just trying to make cash. By that, I didn't really purpose that that person just tried to ram me, I think, a bit. And it, by the way, if you see me let them pass me, just ignore that because sometimes it is better just to let them pass you because I'd rather them not ram me. I'd rather, I'd rather let them pass me like that because that happens if I don't let them pass me and I mess up completely. Because now we're spinning out of control, we're not landing that. There you go, we're second, that's okay. We are doing okay. 
just got to bear in mind this person is going to try and ram us out the way and things like that probably like that there we go and now we're gonna be see this is the only problem when you have people that try and ram you you can automatically be at the very back Sometimes you can be clever. I don't know whether any of you watch the Need for Speed film, but um, at the end race when there's just the two of them and he um, he goes to ram him, he goes to ram the main guy. And he slams on his brakes. Sometimes you do that and it works perfectly. Sometimes they end up hitting you too, even though you've tried to slam on your brakes and you cause a massive crash. But that's why sometimes it is better to have contact off. But sometimes it's more. Not realistic, but it keeps you on your toes if you have contact on. So it's a bit 50-50 really. Depends on whether if everyone's going to be honest and not ram you to win. If I was a couple of seconds slower then, I would have probably rammed that pink car then. That would have been a complete disaster. Oh, that went wrong. We missed the ramp and then we kind of curbed like the base of the um, racetrack. Right, we're going to finish third, maybe fourth now actually. That person is very, very fast behind me and obviously they've kept their speed. So we'll find out. There we go, third. It's a bit like yesterday, you know, we were first and then we had something to mess us up. We kind of jinx ourselves, but that's 6,650. I guess we're not in as much bigger lobby as some other games there, really. There you go, he's earned 15,960. But people are leaving. Always like to get that. 50 extra RP. Third place earned 6,650. Second place is 22,160. Right, okay. Um, let's go this one. We want a complicated one or a fun race because that's what keeps this, that's what it stops because the grinding being boring basically. If you're not there for hours and hours grinding on the same jobs and missions, but we will do some, I will show you some grinding missions that you can do if you want. You guys won't find them as fun as doing races or things like that with your mates, because sometimes it's fun just to get a lobby of your mates and go against pretty much anyone you can. Just load in. Right, okay. I'm not sure whether I like that destroy last place thing though. That's the only annoying thing, but we'll invite some people. Get some last jobs and some friends. Do anything we can really to get people in the game. More people, the more cash first place gets. Really, so. This is a sport race. I don't think I've actually got any sport cars. I know I've got quite a few sport or supercars. Some classics and muscles and things like that, but I don't think I've got any sport. I'll we'll have to find out. It's been a few months since I played this game. Right. Sport, noon, all that's off. Every 60 seconds. See, we haven't got any. Oh, yeah, we have. You know what, we'll go in this car. Very nice. Ah, uh, right, uh Street Racer, Pro Racer, Pro Racer, Pro, 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 and back to Pro. Yeah, so everyone's the same. Besides one person, I think, so it's gonna be a mixed race really.
Let's just show off a bit and take that roof down. Why not if we have it? Two, one, boom. I don't know whether I got this one customised or not because I am aware that I do. I did buy this car. Thank you for ramming me. I did buy this car, got it customised and all that, and then I sold it again because I thought I'll buy another one because I needed the cash to start a heist up. So I knew at the end of doing a heist I could buy this car back, but I don't know whether I customised it fully or not. Flip streams on, so that's okay if you're at the back really, but not when you're first. Why does it feel like I'm going really slow? I've got like the trigger fully down, but it feels like we're getting no speed whatsoever. Okay, 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 keep control. There we go. He's trying to ram me to get into place. My car's nice, it's based on the Aston Martin, I don't know which one. Right. And we've been rammed. That was very nice of that car there. Just what you get basically. If you don't ram, people ram you, it's really annoying. But it's just something you have to deal with on this game. It's on all car games really, even Forza, so you have people ramming you and it's part of the game really. People just really are really want that cash, don't they? They want that end prize of cash. That went wrong. I didn't even mean to ram the um, back bumper or spoiler of that car. I was trying to slipstream off him and then I ended up above him. Right, hopefully we can catch up again. Right. If he gets slipstream off me, because I know, as far as I'm aware, he's the black. He's um, in a black. Karuma, Armour Karuma, so he's probably going to try and ram me because the last one did try and ram me. But we'll just find out. Oh, that was dirty ramming that then. He was trying to play dirty and ram the hell out of me. Let's see if we can... Um, the game will undecide that. Technically, because he rammed me, he shouldn't get that win. But obviously, it's only a game. So I'm guessing he will get that win. But we'll find out. We'll find out. It's okay. At the end of the world, there is some really bad people ramming in this game now. Exactly what I could have done to the LG was get behind him, ram his back bumper, spin him out just like he tried to do to me. Fifth. Okay, that's okay. I can work with that. Not the best place really, is it, from where I was at the beginning. Only only two grand. Really earning much cash, are we? I think what we might do is leave this session and try and go into the open session and try and join one of them lobbies, but yeah, the LG got in front of me, you know, a couple of grand, but they're not earning much money in this session, so what I might do. Alright, so we're going to leave this, and we're going to go and try and join another. Go and join a different type session. Same stunt series, just different one. Change it up a bit. But I can't wait for these new, new cars and things like that because I can't wait to get some new cars because I'll give you a little bit of a sneak preview. Most of you probably know, but we're getting 
the old classic Infernus and the old classic Turismo. So that could be the one from the GTA 4 or the one from San Andreas or GTA 3. So I would prefer the GTA 4 one for the Turismo because the Turismo and GTA 4 was actually really good. Like one of my favourite cars in GTA 4, probably was my favourite car. Loading again, it takes a bit of time, but that's okay. Right, okay. A stunt series alone. While we're trying to get in a session. Yeah. Put that money in the bank for the sake of it. It's only 8,590, but it's better having it in the bank than not. So now I've got 147,000. Be nice if we could get a full lobby of 16. There's only me at the moment in this one. Two people now. Six, here we go. Getting a bit better now, bigger, bigger numbers. I was going to go in the garage, but I thought, no, just in case it starts. All I'll do is I'll call a car out. A car out. That we have once we can drive around a bit while we're waiting. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. Hmm, let's go for this one. I'll bring it by. There we go, that's a lot better. A lot more people in the lobby. 12 out of 16. For a car to spawn, here we go. All right, you ready? Dun 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 Right, okay. Oh, I'm in charge. Ah, here we go. Better. This is where we get people leaving, joining, leaving, joining, leaving, joining. And it gets quite annoying. It's okay. Think positive. That's something you've always got to do with GTA. Think positive. Look on the bright side. As you spend hours grinding and you get nothing out of it. Right, okay, let's go Nero again. Get on Nero. Oh, I think someone's just left. I'm not really sure. Oh well, right. Doing good at the moment. We're gonna have a good Successful race, maybe, probably not, touch wood. Now my luck for the past few races that we have done on the last episode, we didn't really get far, did we? We were in first and then immediately went down to fourth, fifth. We're in that position a lot, we're in that uh, position a lot for finishing. Kind of annoying, but okay, get over it, eventually. One, go. Contact's off, so we are okay. Let's get this party started. Like a head-to-head. -head. I think that... I'm assuming that car's obviously faster then. I don't know. It's been a while, so I've not really bought any of the new cars besides the Nero. Oh! Oh! I'm not the only one that's had a collision here. Seems that a lot of us have had collisions.
This isn't going well. Alright, we're doing okay. Ah, this is the one messed up last time, isn't it, guys? That wall on our first episode. Let's hope that controller doesn't disconnect again, because last time we disconnected, I think, in one of these. Also... Because last time I heard the controller trying to disc... It was not trying, but it was like the mic kept cutting out and I felt like it was cutting out a lot. And then all of a sudden it actually said controller disconnected. So we don't know why because the battery was not full, but it was near enough full. Let's hope we don't get a repeat of that. That was second place. We were first and then we immediately went into second. I'm not the best at this track, I remember that. The corners that get me. This car is a beast though. I, I remember waiting for this car to come out. I think it was the Christmas DLC. Don't remember what DLC was exactly, but I remember waiting for this car for ages to come out. Me and my friends were just waiting for days and days for this car because we couldn't wait to get this car because the spoiler and how good it looked. We just wanted a new Bugatti Veyron really in the game, and then we ended up getting the Bugatti Chi Chiron, I think it was, or Chiron. I can never pronounce it. But um, I do like this car. I was tempted to buy two of them because at the time I had enough money to buy about three or four of them because I spent ages grinding for them. But I was like, no, I'll buy some other cars instead. So we did. I bought because on my 360 account that I never able to was never able to get back until a couple of months ago because my actual Xbox 360 account got cancelled for some reason. But then a couple of months ago I was able to actually retrieve it so we were like hooray we've got it account the account back but I've not used it since the day I got it back so bit bit stupid of me but oh well um so basically I used to sell cars all the time and then try and get them all back and then I remember on 360 I got rid of all the cars and just kept my main ones like the Bugatti Veyron and things like that and then for Xbox One, I used to just sell cars every time there's an update because my cars were worth a lot of money. Because I'd buy like a massive collection, as many garages as we were allowed at the time. Then I would just sell them. And then now I've just got to try and stop doing that because I am literally wasting money. Because every time we get a new update with new cars, by the next update, I've sold them cars just to afford the new updates. Because I don't really like buying shark cards because. As much as that's why we're getting free updates, because people buy the shark cards and things like that. It's more, I don't want to buy shark cards because I know that's just wasting money really. My money, because I can just get that money if I grind for hours. But then obviously some people don't have the time to grind for hours, or some people don't actually grind for hours because they don't want to, or they don't have time. Because they have school, college, work. And at one point, in the beginning of this year, I had college and had a lot of assignments and things like that. So I had this thing called App Bounty, Mr. Boss recommended it, so I used it. We just come first. But I used App Bounty and it really worked. But now, all of a sudden, since I've redeemed my first code, it's not actually worked. So I've sort of just left App Bounty now. I uninstalled it, but I would recommend you getting it because it is a very good app. I think it was just mine maybe was laggy or mine was just being under my luck and was being annoying after I bought my first 
I think it was five or and I think I was aiming for the ten pound Microsoft um, points, but I went for the five pound one because I had six thousand points and I only needed four thousand points. I think it was, but um, definitely worth getting that bounty. I'll put a link in the description for you of how to get it in that because it's definitely worth an app bounty because some of you will use it all the time because you can use it if you have like five ten minutes just install some apps play them for a bit voila you have some points it took me about three weeks to get it took about three weeks for me to get the enough amount of money and that's not that bad really if you think about it, you're getting free money for downloading apps so quite good winner thank you Italian mob KFC, I just changed that guys because that's for my modded colour sort of thing. You know, we have the modded colours. I did a lot of that. So if you guys want to join me, you're more than welcome. It should be open, but I'll check that later. Make sure it is open because a lot of people like the modded colours and I'll change the modded colours every now and then. In the moment we had blue and then we had um, rosemary gold. It was okay. Didn't kind of, didn't fully work out, but... Not the end of the world. But, um, let's go. We've got six out of nine people in this. So, okay. Six out of nine people have voted, but then that means we've got nine people all together. So, we're doing okay. Doing just fine. Alright, point to point, sport. Uh... While waiting for loading in. Let's see if we can get some more people in maybe. You know what, in fact, we'll just go for this because this is good enough. Yeah, you're probably thinking sweat 231, but I just put a lot of hours of grinding. That is how I got my high level. Rooftop rumble, pot shot, of pl playlists of pot shot, rooftop rumble, and countless hours of grinding. That, I've actually never bought that, I don't know why. They're buying it. Let's go for this, shall we? Change it up a bit. I actually just think I've made a mistake, maybe, because I don't remember... Yeah, I don't think I actually... I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I don't think I have got any upgrades whatsoever on the car. So we might have a bit of a problem. But we'll just deal with it. Okay, that Nissan, I've definitely got to buy the one then. But the only problem is I buy one and then I'll sell it again because I want to buy stuff in the update. So we're just going to leave it for now. Boom. Hang on. We didn't turn contact off. Bit of a mistake, really, not to turn contact off, but we'll just have to deal with that. I take it all of them got a slipstream off me. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Just, if I turned a bit, he would end up there and flipping me. Okay, please don't not land on top of him. Don't land on top of him like that. Sometimes these races, when they're on contact, can be a bit like a Fast and Furious film. You have cars flipping each other. Things like that. Cars going off the trap. Not trap. Going off the track. Oh, I thought I had some cool horn then, but I don't. I just had the simple horn. Right, okay, so, so far, the best way to make money, let's go into that. Let's let's talk a bit about that, why I try and catch up a bit. Because I, I don't think I'm going to win this purely because contact's on. And these people, I think, are going to be the type of ramming people looking at what's going on here. They like to ram each other.
but I can deal with that. I can deal with that because I can put contact non-contact on next. But basically, oh, it's gone wrong. I've blown up. Gone completely wrong, guys. All right, so let's talk a bit about exactly what we need to get ca need to get cash. All we need is races like this. Just get as many people in these races as you can. The more people you get, the more first place gets. You want to try and aim for first to third place. Now, as you can see, I'm sixth place, but that's okay. We're going to turn contact off on the next race and try and get as many people in as we can. Because contact's on, you do get more chance now of moving back to first. But it's kind of hard now because... I've kind of blown up, it's not like I've just fallen off place on the track or anything. So I've had time of delay to spawn in again, giving them a good amount of time. But basically, you need to get as many people in these races as you can, so you get more cash. Also, you could do a place as the pot shop, but it depends, because sometimes you might get bored. So what you could do, put headphones in or whatever you do with your music, and just play music. If you're doing it all on your own. But sometimes it's fun to do it on your own. If you're just having headphones in. And you just relax while you're playing it. Because pot shot isn't hard. Or you can just get friends. And you can mess around a bit while you drive around. If you want to do the extra time bit. But if you don't do the extra time. By driving around with the van. Or just leaving the van. It outside Trevor's. And just going for a drive. And just messing around a bit. If you're doing that way, you need to be waiting about 15-20 minutes extra to make any proper money. If you don't do that, you still can make 100 grand, but you need to do the whole playlist. Let's say you wait 20 minutes after each, before ending each mission. After 5 missions, you'd make about 100 grand. See, there we go, we got ramming already. Normally karma strikes back on these races. Sometimes it just doesn't. Sounds like I've got a flat tyre. We completely messed this race up, but it is okay. Because like I said before, and I've said many times probably, contact is definitely going off. In fact, should we just try and ram him? Try and annoy him? Make his day worse if we can. For a bit of fun for the last bit. Because this is the last little bit. So technically if we get past him, it'd be brilliant. But we're not getting him. Because we're already mid-air. No chance. What we'll do now is we'll take contact off. So it's a bit more easier. Not easier, but it's four minutes there. That's four minutes it took. And we're earning 3,900. That's because we've only got a small amount of people in the session. Right, there we will get more back in the session. Right, okay. Always like, even if you come last, purely because you get an extra XP. What you want. You want as much XP as you can. Right, let's go for this one. Right. Come on, GTA, don't take too long to load. Oh, man. All day, GTA. 
So, do these races, pot shot or rooftop rumble. They three choices really, or you can play heist over and over. The only problem is with that you do have a massive time for waiting time. Now, if you guys want to know about the little glitch that I know about, how you can complete the first heist or any other heist, one after the other. Normally, I would do that glitch with the first heist, and you would just do the first heist over and over and over and over. Because if you put your share to 70 grand each time, then you... No, you put your share to 100 grand each time. You're earning 100 grand every, like, half an hour. You're probably thinking that's loads of time from what you could be doing. But you're earning quite a nice bit of cash. And then... Once you've done like five of them, you've earned 500 grand. You spend a little bit longer, you've got another 500 grand. And the time flies by, by the time you know it, you've got about 6 million. You spent a week doing the first heist over and over and over. Whenever you could cut on GTA, you'd be millionaire, if not billionaire. How I used to make all my cash when heist first came out. But if you want to know how to do the glitch, Comment down below, and if there's enough comments, I'll do in a separate video on how to do the glitch. But what we'll do now is we'll sell a car. I don't think we've got any high cars, high end cars. We've got some medium now. Because I'm not sure what's under that, like tarpon sort of thing, blanket, quilt, not quilt. You know, the cover for the car, really. Um, okay, so we got. In a mid range, let's get this car. Bought this, it's 62 grand. Let's get to work. Right. Your own personal now, it, you technically could do this. This is a fourth way of getting cash. Now, the only problem with this is you do have to spend money, obviously, on upgrading the car, but obviously, that's not the end of the world. It's only 20 grand for a high end car. Obviously, like that, it was a medium car for this, and I was getting 12 grand. Not that bad. But that's up to you, what you do. Now, the best thing to do is black out your car completely as much as you can. Make it a low-profile car, basically. You make it disguise. Not make... Not a bright, colourful car with massive yellow neon lights and massive bright lights. Just low-key car. Try and get it there with as much like cash on it as you can. Now, if you do it with your teammates, that's fine. You're making more cash if you do it with more cars. But if you do it where you're on your own and you're selling high-end cars, you make a hundred grand each time. Now it's about a twenty-minute wait after you've sold that car. So if you were to sell a car every forty minutes, let's say forty fifty minutes, you'd make enough money. To buy one of the new, well, not one of the new cars, but if you were to spend a day, let's say, doing it, you'd make a million easily. Like I was, I was getting on GTA at twelve in the afternoon throughout Christmas, and then going to bed about one in the morning, two, three. Sometimes I would sit up five in the morning playing this game, live streaming it. As you guys will see in some of the live streams, I made over three million, five million. You can easily make cash. The only thing that stops you is the online players and the people that sometimes chase you in the um, cars. I went quiet then because I thought I heard shooting. I thought he was going to try and shoot me then. But sometimes it's easier to move away from the online players. Just try and get away. Now I was quite lucky with uh, around Christmas because for some reason I was getting lobbies on my own after like half eleven. At night, I was getting lobbies where I was on my own in an open lobby, and I was just doing these on my own for hours. And I was making a lot of cash, and then if friends came on, I would invite them, and we'd make loads of cash. So there is loads of ways of making cash. It's just finding fun ways to do it. Because if you spend hours and hours grinding, then you're going to get bored pretty quick and do what I do. Do loads and loads and loads of days and months on end grinding. And then all of a sudden, just stop playing GTA because you find it not fun, really. But now I've heard an update coming out. I want to do not loads of grinding, just a couple of hours each day. That'll get you a couple of hundred grand each day. By the end of the month, you'll have a million or two. And then 
by the next month you'll have three, four million. A month after that, five, six, seven million. And I, I've got a feeling this update could be expensive for some stuff. Because I'm guessing you're going to have to buy another warehouse. Or something like that where you can supply your weaponry. Or whatever it is we try and steal. And obviously all the military equipment's going to be expensive because if, if they let us buy that and the clothing and the vehicles that they bring if we're allowed to buy the vehicles that we steal might be new military vehicles and outfits and weapons and clothing. But then also you've got the high-end cars and things like that coming in the other updates and it's it's hard to tell what to buy and things like that. So some I'll do reviews on cars of what cars you should buy and really what I think of the cars and things like that when they come out. But... For now, we just want to get as much cash as we can, so then if you wanted to buy everything or buy as much as you could, and then you can. But I think we should end it where we ended it last time, down here. Quickly nip down here. And um, last episode, you'll see the guy on the bike came up. He was very clever. After I ended the video, he drove up there and he went straight into that tree. It was very funny. I wish I was still recording, but... Um, Got a nice little shot here, but um, this has been it for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.